I want to welcome you to the first day of the Law of Life Training Institute. And I'm happy right now. <laughs> and I hope you are as well. Big shout out to Pastor John Whitfield of the New Zion Christian Church out there in uh, Fairhope, Alabama. My Fairhope, Alabama family. He sent me this song today and it has great meaning because today is a happy day <laughs> for us to celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And today is a happy day for me because we are starting the Law of Life Ministries Training Institute. This is the first day, first class, and what I'm truly excited about is those of you who have taken time out of your schedule, prioritize your spiritual life to say, hey, I'm going to be a part of this new groundbreaking institute here at Law of Life. So thank God for you uh, being a part. Thank God for you tuning in, logging in, and getting your first session here at the institute. Those of you who are logged on, today is the first day, so we just want to get some house cleaning uh, things in place, make sure that we're clear on everything and everywhere we're going. Again, big shout out to uh, my New Zion family, big shout out to my Cathedral of Worship family, uh, and of course, right here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, all of you who are tuned in for the first day of Law of Life Institute training institute. A uh, few things. Uh, we got one scholarship uh, representative who's online with us today. Uh, that is my man, Mr. Leon McCants. Brother Leon McCants, we, uh, we really honor you for stepping up and making a way for your wife to be a part of the Law of Life Training Institute. We have a lot of people who have began to walk in their anointing and walk in their uh, level of awareness that Christ is Lord. He is all and above all. And when you begin to walk in that level of anointing, you begin to realize that there's more out there for you to absorb. And today, Brother Leon is with us to absorb this first course. For those of you who are tuned in, you are with the anointed and productive track. The anointed and productive track. And I'm truly excited about this course. Uh, because it allows us such an opportunity to recognize who we are in Christ Jesus. It's one thing to be anointed, but we want you to be productive as well. It is important that we are effective in the kingdom of God. Now, as we understand this course and what it means, one of the things I want to get across to you is just understanding why you signed up for it. Some of you uh, debated whether you'll sign up for the ministerial track. Some of you debated whether you'll sign up for the marketplace track. But the anointed and productive track is really, really the groundbreaking uh, track that you want to definitely be a part of. So I'm grateful for those of you who took time to uh, prioritize this as your first course. The reason being, it says even in the description of our course here, it says it's one thing to be anointed, but it takes a greater level of wisdom to be productive. In this hour, God has released a more excellent way of managing our day-to-day -day responsibilities in the kingdom. To whom much is given, much is required. This course focuses on teaching you how to master your ability to execute and get things done. Through amazing techniques and mental strategies, we will help you to clear your mind as well as your pathway to productivity. One of the things that I talk about often is a term that I like to coin saying, mastering the mundane. In order to go to higher heights in the kingdom, higher heights in your anointing, you have to take time to master the mundane. Those little things, those small tiny things that really don't mean much to us. But I promise you, my sisters and brothers, if you're able to master those things, you will then be able to do greater things in the kingdom because those small things are what's nagging at your creativity. It's pulling at your mental strength every day while you're out and about. It's bothering you. You don't realize it. So this class, Anointed and Productive, is going to be a powerful 
powerful tool for you to get under your belt as you get serious about walking in the things of our Lord. Another thing I want to discuss real quickly, those of you who are online right now, you are on the Law of Life uh, Apostle Scott dot uh, org website apostle scott dot org website you could have gotten here by going to lawoflife dot tv and then clicked on uh, a link to get to apostle scott or you could have came straight to apostle scott dot org well now that you're here when you first open the site this video should have started automatically however when we're done I want you to be aware that you will have homework uh, <laughs> yes you will have homework welcome to school <laughs> welcome to training this is the thing. Right underneath the uh, the track here with the screen where you are logged in, excuse me for that, uh, there's a homework queue right here at the bottom. You see that? Yeah, I'm circling it right there above our slideshow. If you go there and click that homework tool, it will give you your assignment for today. And it would always be uh, a case where we would want you to gather assignments, worksheets, uh, anything to keep up with where we are in class, you'll be able to download it right there from the site. As my link come up, I want to remind those of you who have um, become a part of the Institute, you should have received your binder. Uh, if you didn't receive a binder, uh, give me an email, give me a shout, let me know that you didn't receive a binder. But if you are a student here, you should have received a binder in your registration cost. It covered it. And this binder is so that you can keep up with all of your assignments. You can be very well organized, put everything you need in there. I got a little bit of everything in my binder, but you know the drill. It's all about staying organized and ready at the drop of the dime to do what we're called to do. And the reason I really want you to have this binder is that because as we get together in the kingdom, you will have it and we'll meet in different conferences, workshops, events, and we'll remind you, make sure you bring your binder. As you see here on the screen, your assignment for today will come from uh, Luke, the fourth chapter, uh, verse five through 16. Let's go to that real quickly. We're gonna be dealing with from prayer to productivity. In order to understand your anointing, uh, your anointing is made up of your spirituality, it's made up of your spiritual understanding, uh, but more importantly, um, your, your anointing is made up of a strong relationship and connection to God. And our avenue, our bridge, our tunnel, our conduit to God is through the power of devotion and prayer meditation and prayer and that time of consecration where you're in the word listening and hearing from God. Prayer is so essential. Uh, but what I want you to understand about being anointed and productive is that prayer alone is not enough. You, you, you have to understand that prayer, being a conduit, should be the thing that ignites you into productivity. Uh, my God is a God who answers prayers. And so as you begin to become more connected to our Lord and Savior through the power of his Holy Spirit, you will find yourself overwhelmed with strength and power to get things done. And so it was with our Lord and Savior Jesus. Wherever you saw Jesus praying, he came out of prayer and he became productive. Let me take you real quickly to Luke chapter four before we close out for today. Tune in to Luke chapter four. It says this. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost. Now watch this. In that same chapter, around verse 16, you will find these words. Actually, it is, let's go up a couple of verses, verse 14. And it says right here, and I'll highlight it on your screen. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. Real quickly, a very, 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 very powerful, powerful, um, complex um, difference here. When you just opened up in the first verse of this chapter, it says that Jesus was full of the Holy Ghost. Well, when he comes out of the wilderness, being tested by the, the devil for 
40 days and 40 nights, being tested and being hungry, being fasting, and et cetera, et cetera. He comes out not just being full of the Holy Ghost, but he returned in the power of the Holy Ghost. Good God Almighty. I need you to hear me this today because if you don't understand that your anointing is not about you just being full of the Holy Ghost, but it's about you walking in the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost will lead you into a productive walk with Jesus, a productive walk in his kingdom. So you want to go from being full to walking in the power, from fullness to power. And this text is a good one for you to mark in your Bibles and keep up with. I believe that it will bless you as you see Christ coming out of the wilderness. But, but here's your assignment for today. Your assignment for today is to understand as we look at the many different facets of where we are and where we're going, I, I want you to get clear on the fact that Jesus didn't just pray but he was productive. Chew on that for a minute. He didn't just pray, but he was very, very productive. And in your sheet today, here's the thing. The sheet will tell you uh, these words. Here you go. The purpose. Now that we have embraced effective teaching, teachings on prayer and and now we want to explore the powerful result of prayer, which is productivity. All of us have a great, had great teachings on prayer, and we understand prayer. But now that you understand it, I want you to go from prayer to productivity. The goal is to magnify uh, the productivity of Jesus that resulted from his time spent in prayer and fasting. You're going to read Luke 4, 5 through 16. Um, and you're going to discover and observe the times when Jesus prayed and then notice the action words that follow immediately after. Write down the verbs that are contained in the following verses. For instance, you'll find like, like number two here. It says, verse 14, Jesus underlined in the power of the spirit into Galilee. Jesus blanked into the power of the spirit uh, into Galilee. Jesus blanked in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. What did he do? He returned. It's right there in your Bible. All I want you to do is write the word return in your space. I've done about five or six of them for you where you can catch on, but then you'll start right here at five, uh, part B. Uh, the gospel, blah, 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 sent me, underline, to heal the brokenhearted. Blank deliverance to the captives. And blank sight to the blind. Blank at liberty them who are bruised. Blank the acceptable year of the Lord. All you're doing is filling in the verbs. But I want you to observe how many action verbs were involved because Christ came from prayer right into productivity. As you go through each one of them, you have two pages here. Print it out. Fill it out. Scan it. Email it back to me at scott at apostlescott.org. Scott at ApostleScott.org. You'll also be able to find that on uh, the website. But I will type it here for you. That is Scott at ApostleScott.org. Now you have until um, Saturday, Saturday morning, to get that to me. Saturday morning will conclude your time frame for getting this assignment into me, scott at apostlescott.org. But the first thing I do want you to understand as we go forward in this class, and, and today I'm keeping this short, I want you to go ahead and get started on your assignment and do what it is you need to do this evening. Again, I wanted to say welcome and let you know there are some special tools that we're going to need during the course of this class. Uh, one of those tools is a book by a very, very great, great author. Uh, I am excited about him. I've studied a lot of his work, a lot of his uh, literature, a lot of his writings, and that is Brother David Allen. Uh, he's a guy who has mastered the art of productivity, and I'm excited to use his work. Uh, one of his pieces is uh, Ready for Anything, 
David Allen. He's the writer of also of Getting Things Done, Ready for Anything. I want you to pick up that book, if you will. Uh, no budget is tight. I know money is tight. No funds is tight. So, hey, get with somebody, partner with somebody uh, who's a part of the Institute as well and say, hey, let's cut the cost. Let's share the book. Uh, you read it a few days. I'll read it a few days. Whatever you need to do, I'm sure you can download it online also at a very reasonable cost. Uh, that is definitely a piece of material we're going to need. The other piece is his other book, Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity. The Art of Stress-Free Productivity. I want you to look for both of those uh, items. Uh, they are pieces that you don't want to uh, not check out. They are, I mean, they're powerful in the uh, simplicity of understanding productivity and the philosophy that this gentleman has developed. I'm excited about it. So again, as we get started into this course, I want you to understand that number one, the first thing we're going to learn to do is to clear our minds. We're going to learn how to clear our minds of all clutter, of all the tasks and things and million things we need to do. Uh, we're going to clear our mind. But first, I want you to understand Christ, his prayer life, how he cleared his mind through fasting and prayer. And then he came out productive. If you can see that, you will be able to appreciate the tactics and the strategies that we're going to use in this course to get you there as well. He went from being full of the Holy Ghost to walking in the power of the Holy Ghost. And that's only going to come through you first learning how to clear your mind. Um, as we close out today, again, welcome to all my new students. Make sure you download your homework. Don't take it for granted. Um, let, don't let the days pass you by and you not have taken time to do your assignment. I'm excited about this course. Again, anointed and productive. We will be developing and enhancing your level of productivity in the kingdom. Amen. Again, if you have any questions at all, feel free to call me. I'll put my number on the screen as well. I want to have a relationship with you. I'm not just going to be teaching and training and not know how you're coming along. So again, here's my number, 274-6753, 274-6753. Uh, we are family. Even as you look behind me, I'm right here in my office here in Baton Rouge. Uh, I have pre-recorded mm. this for you uh, so that you can get your first assignment and get started on next week. Most likely we will be live because I want to hear from some of you who are allowed to call in and let me know how this first assignment bless you. As you read the text and you see Jesus coming out of the wilderness, coming out of prayer, and he begins to walk in action and power. That's what I want for you as well. Not just being full of the Holy Ghost, but walking in the power thereof. I am Apostle Marty Scott, your professor, your friend, your uh, brother in the gospel. We're going to do this thing together. Amen. We're in it together. We're going to do it together. And we're going to walk together in the power thereof. Don't hesitate to let someone else know about who we are, what we're doing, get them involved. It's never too late to sign up. Their lessons and assignments will always be online so they can play catch up and find out where we are in this track, anointed and productive. I don't know about you, but I'm happy and I'm excited about what God is doing. I'm about to play my, my little song as we go out, and I want to encourage you to get happy about the things of the Lord. Amen. I'll see you next Monday right here at Law of Life Training Institute, ApostleScott.org, at Anointed and Productive. Big shout out to the Williams over at New Zion. Big shout out to all of my New Zion family, Pastor Binder and his lovely wife, Sister Johnette, Pastor John Whitfield, all you guys. I'm happy to have you. Happy to be a part of your life. And happy that we're all anointed and about to learn how to be productive.